Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. EAA Sport Pilot Academy gets people flying in three weeks. AEA releases 2019 year-end avionics market report. And three World War II planes are discovered in Micronesia. Welcome, I'm Sophie Herlock. The benefits of immersive small group flight instruction are coming to Oshkosh again this year. Beginning in May, the EAA will be hosting five Sport Pilot Academy sessions, offering a direct path to Sport Pilot certification through a three-week training program that eliminates obstacles such as scheduling conflicts and instructor availability. The program takes participants from first flight through their Sport Pilot check ride at EAA facilities. The three-week program offers one-on-one -on -one and small group instruction with flight training and new Vans RV-12 IST aircraft equipped with the latest Garmin avionics. Lodging and meals are also included. Students attending a post-secondary institution and focusing on an aviation program can apply for the Collegiate Sport Pilot Academy, a scholarship-based session. Up to five scholarships will be awarded and applications for that session will be accepted through March 20th. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. Two King Air 350ERs, equipped as maritime patrol aircraft, have gone into service with an African Navy. The MPA is equipped with Leonardo's ATOS mission system and full complement of sensors, including its Sea Spray E-Scan surveillance radar, will be used for search and rescue, littoral security, and the monitoring of illegal migration, fishing, and pollution. Honeywell is bringing 296 students, all children of Honeywell employees, to Huntsville, Alabama to take part in the 10th Annual Honeywell Leadership Challenge Academy at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. The two-week-long program encourages high school students, ages 16 through 18, to pursue STEM careers through real-world hands-on activities in coding, computer science, and astronautics. The 2020 Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo will commemorate the 75th anniversary of the iconic Pitt Special by inviting Pitt's owners to showcase their planes and a specially designed parking area. In celebration of Curtis Pitt's legacy, those who bring their Pitt's aircraft will be awarded free weekly admission for up to two. Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo is scheduled for March 31st through April 5th at Lakeland, Florida. Blue Origin has opened its rocket engine production facility in Huntsville, Alabama. The world-class engine manufacturing facility in the Rocket City will conduct high-rate production of the BE-4 and BE-3U engines. These engines will undergo testing at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center on the historic test stand 4670. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Finally, a modern, affordable four-seater without compromise. Turbocharged Rotax 915 IS power, 155 knot cruise, 800 nautical mile range, 1,000 feet per minute climb, and all that at eight gallons per hour. Don't compromise. Check out the Sling TSI today at AirplaneFactory.com. AEA released its 2019 year-end avionics market report and total worldwide business and general aviation avionics sales for 2019 amounted to more than $3 billion, as reported by participating companies. The figure represents a 10.2% increase in total year-end sales compared to 2018. And during the fourth quarter months of October, November, and December, 
sales increased 5.3% compared to the same time frame one year ago. Of the more than $3 billion in sales, 55.1% came from the retrofit market, while forward fit sales amounted to 44.9% of sales, according to companies that separated their total sales figures between North America and other international markets. 74.7% of the 2019 sales volume occurred in North America, while 25.3% took place in other international markets. Project Recover, a group dedicated to identifying the remains of Americans missing in action, has discovered three U.S. aircraft in Chuk Lagoon, which went down during Operation Hailstorm in February of 1944. The aircraft are associated with seven U.S. servicemen who had been listed as missing in action. The aircraft are two SBD-5 Dauntless Dive Bombers and a TBMF-1 Avenger, which engaged Japanese forces during the operation. The aircraft were among the approximately 30 planes lost during Operation Hailstorm, and officials estimate 12 went down in this lagoon. The search for the airplanes involved four expeditions to the lagoon in 2018 and 2019. Underwater drones searched the seabed at the depths of up to 215 feet and spotted debris from the airplanes. And that was our last story of the day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more aviation and aerospace news anytime of the day, head over to aero-news.net. I'll see you tomorrow.